What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, it's me Danny back and today we are on Hijacked, it's Black Ops 2 as usual but that doesn't like ghosts, don't even have the game anymore. So it's Black Ops 2, uh, he's using the G-Com with the red dots, I don't know what else is on, I don't watch him Just play so I don't really know. Uh, all I know is it's 22 to 9 and it's on Hijacked. So today we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, shit I don't even know, I don't even know, I haven't even shit for this because I was just told to do it. I was dragged home early. I don't even know what time it is. I'm quite tired, but whatever. Um, I think we'll talk about movies. Actually, I've been watching a lot of movies lately. Uh, first of all, I would like to say I'm going to talk today uh, about uh, kind of I think horror movies would is more because my girlfriend is kind of a horror movie kind of fanatic it so she likes watching horror movies and I end up watching them with her because I don't look like a pussy so basically horror movies um let me think uh the newest one I've kind of seen or the latest one I've even seen is called Resolution it wasn't even a horror it was supposed to be a horror and it wasn't it was uh, about I don't know two uh, one junkie and his brother I suppose and god it was terrible Stay away from that movie. I'll tell you the basic plot and the team. Oh, he's not using the cheek I'm sorry, my dad's using the. He was using the cheek Uh But basically, uh, resolution is about a junkie who is in this kind of place. Uh, he's in like a cabin out in the woods. And his brother comes to try help him out because he doesn't want him doing drugs. And. Uh, Basically, it's just about events that occur around them. Basically, you know, speculating that you're you're, you're forever being watched. Uh, that kind of feeling that if you're Christian, you know, you've got the feeling that you're forever being watched. And it kind of plays on that kind of theory of, uh, you know, being watched. And the guys feel like there's cameras around them all the time, that they're being watched. And um, it's kind of ironic because it's, uh, it's a film, like, and, you know, they are actually being followed around by cameras. But they talk a lot about it. Uh, the, the two guys I've never heard of, I've never even seen the two actors that play in it. They're completely random. And uh, <coughs> the movie just kind of revolves basically around these silly little events that occur around him, like, uh, for instance, the guy doesn't even own the place he's living in, there's, he owes money to these junkies, he's dealing, he's, you know, just taking shit in general, it's just kind of stuff like that, and it's really, really, I don't know what the word is, it's just, it's eerie, it's just a tone to the movie that, that's, first of all, very unnerving and very, at at first you'll you'll seem fairly interested, but once the movie goes on, you start to realize what's going on. It starts to become quite dull. At the end, there's a figure stands over both characters. No idea what's going on. Then at that stage, I had to Google what was going on, and it turns out that it was a reference to the Bible. So, God, that was really bad. Um, and then finally, uh, I'm going to talk about another movie that I seen under horror. It's called Orphan. It was absolutely brilliant. It was probably the best movie, one of the best horrors I've ever seen before. It played on the notion of undeveloped hormones, and it's about a girl. If you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend trying to get it and seeing this movie. It's about a girl, or even a woman. She's a woman, and uh, basically she <coughs> she pulls herself off as a little girl because her hormones never de developed as a as a child so she forever looks like this little girl and she looks she has ribbons on her hands and on her neck because of where she got scars from a mental institution that she actually once went to however you don't realize that she went to uh, an institution until late on in the movie very late in the movie but uh not giving everything away it's a very very good movie if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it the the acting in it is absolutely amazing the reason I give away the plot of the last one is because I don't think anyone will ever want to watch this. It's so bad. But I would highly recommend this movie uh, because Orphan is the name of it again. Uh, again, actors I've never seen before. But I have to say in this one, the actors and actresses that they got pulled off this movie very, very well. It was a lot better than uh, <laughs> Resolution. It was a lot better than any of the real horror movies that I really watch with my girlfriend. And... Uh, 
I just have to say that in general it was it was quite terrifying the fact that there was this girl. But uh, it's the events, the things that she does, and the kids, what the other kids have to go through with this girl, um, woman even. And it's, it's it's a very good story. Again, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it because uh, the acting in it is absolutely superb. The plot of it is very twisted. Uh, if you're into your kind of twisted movies where you kind of have to think a little bit and you really have to engage with it, you're really going to like this movie the most because... Again, like I said, on top of the acting, it's a very, very good story, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I think I might actually watch it a second time. But um, you know, uh, the writer of that of of that movie um, obviously had put a lot into this because of the fact that the the character was so well thought out. As a although she was a little girl at the start, and uh, even thought she was, it was very, very well portrayed by the by the actress. Uh, I don't actually know what her name is. She's a very young girl, that's all I know. But she is. She was very, very good, and I have to give it to all of the actors and actresses in that in this movie. I know I've said it you know, a few times, but it has to be said. It was absolutely brilliant. I don't know why my dad didn't get kicked. That was the second time he killed someone on his own team. But uh, just if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's called Orphan. And uh, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. It's always appreciated. Put the score on, on the thing there now. There you go. It should be up on the screen. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, join me for more. Adios.